How's it going everyone? This is DJ. Today we'll be showing you how to install the latest Dix Xenon build for Kodi 21.1 Omega as of October 2024. Now if you're not familiar with Dix, it offers different types of builds in here. You have the, the one that requires a debris account, they have the free one, they have one that if you're using a VPN which is recommended, you have the one with the VPN and also different types of builds in here that will suit anybody's needs. Now in today's video, we're going to be focusing on the free version. That's what most people are looking for. But if you want to install one of the other builds that are available, the steps are going to be the same. So without any further ado, grab your remote and let's get right to it. All right, welcome back everyone. Now I assume that you already have Kodi installed, but if you don't have Kodi, then please watch this video that I've posted in a link in the description below, or you can click on the link on the top right corner. And then once you're done installing Kodi, then you can just continue watching this video. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do over here, we're gonna go to the top where the gear is. We're gonna click on there. And then we're gonna go down to system. We're gonna click on that first, go there, and scroll down where it says add-ons. In here, we're gonna go to the right, so go down where it says unknown sources, select that, and click on yes. All right, now press the back button on your remote. And here we're going to go where it says file manager. Click on there. And we're going to go down where it says add source. Now it's already highlighted under none, just click there. And in the path over here, we're going to type in the following URL. And just make sure you type it in the, the way you see it over here. If you need to pause the video, go ahead. And then once you're done entering this URL, just click on OK. And on the bottom, you see it already has the name here. There's no need to change it. If you want, you could. And then just press OK. All right. Now we're going to go back. And then here we're going to go to the right where it says add-ons. We're going to click on that. You're going to go down where it says install from zip file. Select that. And go down where it says digs. Unless you change the name, then pick the name that you changed. And you click on it. And then in here, we're going to go to repository digs 23zip. All right, let's give it a second. We're going to see the pop-up over there. Now we can go up where it says install from repository. Select that. Go down to digs repository. Click on there. And then we're going to go down where it says program add-ons. Select that. First one over here is Chef Omega Wizard. Click on there. And then select install. Click OK. And then we're just going to give it a second to install. We're going to get the notification soon once it's done. There we go. And now we got a couple more pop-ups coming up. That's the first one. We're going to click on close. Just press the OK button. And then pretty soon we're going to get the next one. All right, this is the one that's telling us if we want to install one. We're going to select yes. And then go down where it says Dix AIO version 1.5, which is the latest one. As you can see, it is as of 10.5.24. So we're going to click on there and select continue. Now this is going to take a little time to download the files that it needs. So I'm just going to fast forward over here. All right, what's well, almost done. Now keep in mind, when it comes down to Kodi and Kodi builds, you do need to be patient. Now it's going to extract the files that it needs. And then after it's done, it's going to ask you to force close Kodi. All right, it's almost done. And now it's asking you to force close Kodi. Just click on OK. And then it's going to bring you back to the home page over here. We're going to open up Kodi again. And now it's going to load the setup wizard here. And as you can see now, at the first step is it says over here, it's to install any add-ons. If you click on here, you will see the available add-ons that they have in here. Now, this is something that you don't really need to do right away. If you want to, you can go ahead and install each one at a time. The next step will be to, if you have real debris or tracked accounts, you can set them up over here. And then the third step will be to install one of the skins. So if we click on here, the first one, as you can see, it says Debrit only. If you don't have a real Debrit account, you don't want to use this one. 
Same thing with the second skin over here. We're going to go to the third one. This is the free one, does not require a Debrit account, as you can see on the right side. All you got to do is click on it, select yes, give it a second to download the information that it needs. And that's done. You're just going to go down where it says apply skin. Click on there. And we're going to go down where it says Xenon free. That's the one we chose right now. Now this is going to be the same steps for the other skins that it's available. So if you pick them different skin, it will be listed in here. Just highlight it, click on it, and then we'll install that skin. And there you go. Now in here, the same thing will be with any other skin that you install. You want to give it a little time to do its thing. It may have to do some updates. It will do some maintenance. So you don't want to rush and start going through the screens over here or trying to watch something right away. Even though once you're done with this, if we exit over here, force close. The next time you launch Cody, you should do the same thing. Just give it a minute or two in the beginning. Let it just do its thing. You will see pop-ups, like you see here, the schedule, the maintenance, and then any other add-ons that need to be updated that you have installed after, it will do its thing first, and then once you don't see anything else popping up, then you can go ahead and watch something. Well, that should do it for today. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below, and I will answer everybody's question as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. This is DJ. Till next time.